In five billion years, our sun, the source of all life on Earth, will begin to die. In its death throes, it will expand, becoming a red giant that will swallow Mercury, Venus, and finally, our own planet, boiling the oceans and reducing Earth to a charred rock. This is not a science fiction scenario, it is an inevitable cosmic sentence. There is no stopping it. The question that haunts science is not if, but what will we do about it? In this video, you will discover the most audacious plan ever conceived by humanity to survive the solar apocalypse, a true interstellar arc designed to carry the future of our species through the void. The idea of abandoning Earth is not new, but the scale of the challenge is almost incomprehensible. A journey to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would take tens of thousands of years with our current technology. To face this abyss of time and space, in 2011, the Icarus Interstellar Foundation launched a global challenge called Project Hyperion. The objective was simple in its premise, but monumental in its execution. To create the first detailed design of a generation ship, a self-sufficient vessel capable of transporting a human population for centuries or millennia to a new solar system. Out of dozens of proposals, one emerged as the most viable and visionary, a project named Chrysalis. And what the engineers and scientists behind Chrysalis envisioned was not just a ship, it was a complete artificial world, an encapsulated biosphere designed to be the last bastion of humanity. The first barrier to be broken on a journey of millennia is the absence of gravity, which wreaks havoc on the human body. The solution from Chrysalis is elegant and inspired by concepts from the 1970s. A hollow cylindrical structure, kilometers in length and diameter, constantly rotating on its own axis. This rotation would create a centrifugal force on the inner surface, perfectly simulating Earth's gravity. The inhabitants would live, literally, on the inner wall of a giant cylinder, under an artificial sky and a carefully planned ecosystem. But this is where the scale becomes frightening. How do you build such a colossal structure? And more importantly, where would the energy come from to sustain an entire city for thousands of years in the frozen void of space? The answer is as ambitious as the ship itself, to mine an entire asteroid. Chrysalis would not be built on Earth and launched into space. That would be impossible. Instead, humanity would send a fleet of mining and construction robots to an asteroid rich in metals and water, such as Eros or Devita. The ship would be manufactured right there, in deep space, using the resources of the asteroid itself to forge the hull, the structure, and even the fuel for its engines. The energy would come from a nuclear fusion reactor, a miniature star contained within the heart of the ship, fueled by elements extracted from the celestial body. Chrysalis would literally be a world born from another world, a metallic chrysalis that would form in the dark before beginning its long metamorphosis toward a new light. But the greatest mystery of chrysalis is not its engineering, but human nature itself. The project details a closed-loop ecosystem where every atom of water, oxygen, and nutrient is recycled infinitely. Lakes, rivers, farms, and forests would be recreated inside the cylinder. However, the real challenge would be the social software. How do you maintain a functional, cohesive, and purposeful society for dozens of generations, completely isolated from the outside universe? What kind of government, culture, and ethics could survive such a long period of confinement? The project's creators propose a society with total access to information and a fluid system of governance, but they acknowledge that this is the biggest unknown. A failure to maintain social stability would doom the mission just as surely as a failure of the fusion reactor. The ship could become a floating utopia or an inescapable prison, and the outcome would depend entirely on the wisdom and resilience of its inhabitants. And this leads us to the most shocking and profound truth about Chrysalis. The journey to the nearest star would last hundreds or even thousands of years. This means that no one who embarked on the ship would see the final destination. The first generation would be born on Earth, but would die in deep space. Their children and their children's children would live their entire existence under an artificial light, knowing Earth only as a legend a pale blue dot in the historical archives. They would be the people of the journey, 
a nomadic civilization whose only home is a metal construct floating in the infinite. This mission would not be for those who leave, but for those who arrive. A sacrifice of entire generations in the name of a future they would never experience. This forces us to reflect on what it truly means to be human. What is a home when Earth is just a distant memory? What kind of hope can sustain a population for so long in the darkness of the cosmos? But Project Hyperion is just one of the visions for our interstellar future. There are other theories, some that propose using the very light of the stars as an inexhaustible engine. If you want to explore how we could sail across the cosmos using giant solar sails powered by pure light, check out the video now appearing on the card. Chrysalis, for now, remains a concept, a detailed and inspiring blueprint on paper. It is a testament to the human capacity to dream and to plan on cosmic timescales. It is not a promise, but a map, a beacon of hope against an inevitable expiration date imposed by our own sun. It reminds us that our survival instinct combined with our ingenuity can lead us to conceive the impossible. Chrysalis may never be built exactly as designed, but the seed has been planted. The idea that we don't just have to flee, but that we can take the essence of Earth with us, redefines our vision of the future of space exploration. Did you enjoy learning about Chrysalis? then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to continue exploring the mysteries of the universe with us.